huge win against Georgia Tech. And you can tell that's Camilla Cardoso at 6-7. And the ball goes back into the hands right away of Tiana Mangakahia, the senior from Australia. And right away, no surprise to China, they go right. Lewis not shooting the ball as well as uh, we're used to seeing. And right away, Strotmana able to attack. Strotmana making her 114th straight start. And she's off to a terrific beginning to this game. Going to be absolutely huge. Monacahia in the open court for three, drains it. Confidence. That's a confident shot there. Actually professional basketball players, and we asked him if Emily likes him. Now he said, you know, it just kind of depends on the moment. They have a very interesting relationship. That point field goal percentage. If there's a player that Syracuse has to find in their defense, it's got to be Dickens because she will get the shot off and she's got a lot of confidence. But the bottom of the net, Stratmana has only missed two shots so far as BC answers with a three. Head down, so there's been a lot of challenges for BC this year, uh, but they've had to overcome but one challenge has not been finding Michaela Dickens. 3-3 three, three so far to get him close. Lewis with the jump shot. Yeah, she's important. You know, we talked about Anxler. Now Lewis, beautiful transition there. And good pass, playing at a high level for Syracuse to be the best version of this team. Nice catch underneath by Jaldi Tompi, who was in off the bench. Able to get down the floor early, get some early looks in transition. It, it was really effective for them in finding offense. Yeah, nice game against Pitt. A couple of games ago, her season high, and now... Got to get strong around the bucket, and then she's got to figure out her mid-range game. And she's done that. Every year, she's added a dimension to her basketball IQ, become a better player tonight. Yeah, this is a great pass from the interior out to Tiana. Who, you see the last three games for Inkler in particular have not, have been pretty dismal, but it's really about where you're getting your shots and working as a team to get the good looks. <laughs> the pass here with the turnover in Boston College is off and running, but here comes. She is seventh in the ACC and blocked shots. I think he comes up with the rebound and then and Emily comes off of the bench. So sometimes you don't see that connection early in the game, but they really work extremely well off of the pass. And Austin College, eight turnovers and just seven made shots. Manga Kaya from way away. I mean, she was pursuing that three-point shot. Tiana didn't care. She went after her. And speaking of it, there's Palmieri, the freshman that we just referenced, the kid from Connecticut. Coach said she came with a college-ready body, gets in the gym, and Exler's turn. It comes to Tiana. you got to be expecting it. Dickens. Goodness. Oh boy. got to get behind that Syracuse zone. They just kind of passed it around the perimeter. Jolly Tobby. The ball well, but they've had a lot of offensive rebounds, and then Dickens with the three ball keeping it close. Angsler, beautiful high low pass. Williams, a little bit of room, all she needs. Yeah, good patience, good ball movement. And Syracuse not giving up on the play, and here they go getting another defensive play by Angsler. <laughs> and then Manga Kahia either with a really long three. You see just 13 points in this quarter. Dickens, a three-point shooter, found a, an open area and took advantage. Offensive rebound, offensive rebounding certainly helped BC early on in this game. They were down 10-0 at one point. Strotman up with the foul. And in. Yeah, you got to expect that Taylor Soul is going to get more involved on the offensive. Boy, this is end to end action like the game started. Taylor Soul with five quick points in the third quarter. <laughs> going right at Cardoso. Cardoso blocks Soul with authority. Williams guarded out there by Swartz. 
and then she was able to slither around Seoul. Pedroso, another one and done for Boston College. Ungakahia takes it all the way in. Beautiful take by Tiana. I don't even know, we might need a new term. She's not a freshman, she's a freshman technically, but she should be in high school, and Swartz finally gets a shot to go from the field. Yeah, I mean, you've got to credit Kenny Brooks and what he's done. They are on a win streak. Kitley is one of the toughest interior presence in this league. Nice pass there. Asia Shepard's the kind of guard that can make what I call the March bracket buster type shots. Nice pass from Swartz. Seoul now with 13 points for Boston College, but BC with more turnovers than field goals, which is an issue. Lewis gets inside. And that high post area was something that concerned Quentin Hillsman because of how effective Taylor Soul can be from there. 16 now for Seoul. Jaldi Tabi, who was really good, number three in white, subbing for Cardoso in the first half, is back. Kikachins, who was the best. I wasn't doing anything catching like, I can assure you that. <laughs> we were playing the same sport. To find ways to motivate players and to get them to accept their roles. Now, I will say, I like watching introductions as Digna Stroutman hits a three from the corner. She wasn't able to go out there and do all the cute little things that uh, happens a lot of times when the starters are announced. Tiana Mangakahia with the finish. Taylor Soul gets her own miss. Dickens. Splash. She's so hard on herself. She's a perfectionist, and she was not the same Tiana that she was used to as Swartz scores. But get back to form after missing so much time and going through everything that she went through physically and mentally. Three seconds, just turn and put it up before you get called. Yeah, she's had such a really good game today. Exler, another one in that game. I mean, it was quite the display of defense by BC. A Swartz gets a long one to go. You're never out of it when you hit some three. Oh, the nice move to get around the pre-freshman. I'm here for the hot pink that BC's got going on. Yeah, the saturated, not the pastel. So, thank so, you. Goodness. Doso, number 14, posting up. Soul, but Engsler missed wide left. Williams there to clean it up. Soul steps back, thought she was going to shoot it, didn't pull the trigger. And now Ivy drives right by Engsler. Nice move by the freshman. Engsler, another player who had been struggling, so this is a good way to go into Sunday's matchup against NC State. That's nice. But that mid-range game, you could tell when a player has just drilled a shot in the offseason. She looks so smooth doing it. A nice entry pass to 6-7 Cardoso. You got to continue to work on your guard skill, ball handling, and your three-point shot. That three finds the bottom of the net. Lewis with another drive. It's a lead been a back fun, to 15. Fun game, good pace. You know, it's been some turnovers, but it's been a fun game to watch in the freshman Ivy. BC, they just will not go away. Only down a dozen. Got a long team to fight, but on the drive, BC's trying to get back out here and capitalize on this momentum. So, Man. pull up. Only their 13th league game, which is the fewest of any team that is still playing in the league. Basketball conference it is the ACC on the ACC network and the ESPN app tomorrow at 10 Eastern time. That's a three buried by Swartz. It pulls it out now. Let it fly, Tiana. <laughs> Anxler, good catch. That was a really athletic play by Emily Anxler. Winning streak as the ACC regular season winds down. I really like Georgia A more. Oh, Anxler for the Rookie of the Year award between Enrique Gumbawale and who was your choice, Nafisa Collier? Yeah, the one who won it, Nafisa Collier. I hope Coach Muffy McGraw is listening to the fact that you did not vote for Enrique. <laughs> well, I, I, the I WBA's got the winner. leading scorer this year.